Hi guys, it's Noah from your Apple Place. So CES has been going on this week, and there's a lot of cool things that are coming out. Uh, the one thing that I think is really going to be good um, and cool, very helpful um, to s not just save energy but add convenience to your home um, is the Belkin Wemo. Um, so Wemo uh, was out for a while now. Uh, they have these two cameras here. Um, they're just uh, Wi-Fi enabled cameras that you can pull up on the app on your phone. Uh, they also have uh, the smart lights um, which are kind of similar to the Philips Hue. Um, and then they also have um, switches that you can plug things into and remotely turn them on and off. Uh, so for example, if you have like a curling iron in and you're like, oh man, I can't remember if I turned it off or not, hop on your phone, hit the off button, and there you go. Um, you're sure then. Uh, they also have light switches that actually replace the light switch that's already in your room. So these are also able to be controlled with um, the application itself. So on my phone here, let me pull up the application. So mine's installing a little bit of firmware right now, um, but right here where that little spiral thing is, is there will be a power button. Um, you can hop on this app, power them on or off. Um, you can set different rules so you can have it turn on with the sunrise or the sunset um, whether you're away or not um, you can also link them together so if you have those these uh, cameras here and you have you know when you open the door if it detects motion you can actually have it turn on your lights or turn on one of the switches that you have um, so it really adds some great home automation um, it also works with if then this that or if so um, I also have the automatic link in my car uh, which I will be doing a review later on um, so if you guys want to check that out it's a really cool thing that you plug into your OBD reader in your car um, so I have it set up now that if the ignition is turned off in the area of my home turn on the lights so it connects to my phone um, when the ignition is turned off, the um, automatic link sends that to my phone, goes to IFT, and then my lights turn on at home. Um, so it's a really cool thing. Um, if you have a whole bunch of these Wemo lights set up, it'll like be very nice to have all your lights on. Um, it can also make it a lot safer. Um, so you know, if anybody's in your house, you'd be able to see them before you know you get in there. Um, so just it's good all the way around. The only drawback to these things is that they are quite expensive. Um, you can see like a three pack of these bulbs are $90. Um, and I don't know if they even include the link. Um, most of these Wemo devices will work independently except for the bulbs. Um, they need the, the little Wemo link. Um, but if you look at the little tab here it does say that if you use them for three hours a day they will last close to 23 years so you really won't have to worry about them for a long time and by then home automation will be very prevalent and they probably shouldn't cost as much um, but let's go to CES now um, so those few things that Wemo has they are now going to expand into a whole lot of different things in home automation um, so I'll put this link in the description. Definitely check out this video. It's a 10-minute video, but it this lady goes over everything that Wemo is doing. Um, so they're now going to have a keychain sensor, window and door uh, sensors, alarm motions, water flow sensors, so you can track how much water that a faucet's using. Um, you can also sense if your windows are open or shut. Um, and it's going to be really, really, really cool. Um, so all of these things will work independently w based on the Wi-Fi on your house um, and it's just going to be very cool um, so if we go back to the Belkin app here um, so what you gotta do is just simply create an IFT account um, enable the um, application on there generate a pin and then you just gotta hit remote access and enable it um, and then you can also give remote access to certain devices um, so now you can see that the little power buttons there 
So if I would hit that, my lights just turned off. If I hit that, they turn back on. Um, and then what I have is um, another switch that I have hooked up with a fan. Um, so when I get home, it'll automatically turn my fan on if it's warm outside. Um, the best thing with IFT is you can, you really have endless possibilities with it. Um, and it doesn't just work with the Wemo stuff, it works with Nest, the automatic link, uh, social media networking sites like um, Twitter and Facebook. Um, it really works with a lot. So if we hit, not browse, channels here, you can see you can set stuff for your Android phone, um, Box, Dropbox, Craigslist, ESPN, Evernote, Instagram. I mean, there's just a whole lot of stuff here. And this will really be kind of like the, the middle ground um, for home automation. Um, Smart Things is another thing. Um, there's all the Wemo stuff. So you can set it all up. Uh, the other thing that Wemo is coming out with was a, a coffee maker. Um, so you can turn the coffee maker on and off with that. Um, but it's going to be really cool. Um, so that's all I have for you guys in this video. Um, check out my other videos on CES 2015 and I'll explain, you know, how this new technology will help us, uh, in the future and, you know, just give you a better understanding of what it is and why it's a big deal. Uh, so definitely check out those other videos. Um, and watch this video here um, on TechCrunch, and I'll see you guys later.